All right, today we are digging into a really provocative forecast from Mo Gaudet, who's a former top exec at Google X. And he's arguing that we are right on the edge of a massive societal shift thanks to AI, one that could push us to one of two completely different futures, a perfect utopia or a pretty terrifying dystopia. So, yeah, let's get into it. And I mean, he does not beat around the bush. Look at this quote. He believes a period of pretty intense chaos isn't just a possibility anymore. He thinks it's inevitable. This one sentence really sets the stage for a high stakes ride, a prediction that's both, you know, deeply unsettling, but also, believe it or not, kind of hopeful. So here's how we're going to break this down. First, we'll look at his pretty dire 15 year forecast. Then we'll explore what he calls the human induced dystopia and what that actually means. After that, we get to his really counterintuitive solution, an AI-led salvation. From there, we'll imagine what his utopian heaven looks like before we uncover the one massive barrier that he says is holding us all back. Okay, let's jump right into the forecast itself. Now, this is a huge deal because it's a major change in Gaudat's own thinking. He used to think, you know, that we could probably steer AI development away from the worst case scenarios. But now... He's pretty much convinced we've blown past that exit. So here's the core of it. Gaudat is predicting a 12 to 15 year window of what he calls a short term dystopia. He says we're already seeing the little tremors, but that things are really going to start escalating in a big way from 2026 and then hit a really steep downward slide in 2027. So what in the world does this dystopia actually look like? Right. So this is maybe the most crucial point he makes. Gaudat does not blame the AI for the coming hell. He says it's going to be a human-induced dystopia. It's a crisis that's created not by the machines, but by the flawed, emotional, greedy humans who are pulling the levers. And just so we're all on the same page, what we mean by dystopia is a society that's just defined by fear, by control, and by suffering. It's a world where all the bad stuff starts to feed on itself, spiraling way beyond our ability to stop it. This is the hell he's warning us about. And this line just nails his whole argument. The danger isn't artificial intelligence on its own. It's artificial intelligence combined with, well, human stupidity. To be more specific, it's AI in the hands of leaders who are driven by greed, by ego, and by that endless thirst for more power. Gaudet says there are four main forces pushing us down this path. First, you've got the AI arms race, with nations and billionaires scrambling to get to AGI first because they think it's the ultimate key to power. Second, the simple economics of war. Conflict makes some people a lot of money. Third is just that timeless human drive for power and status. And last, a form of capitalism that's obsessed with labor arbitrage, basically squeezing as much value out of people as possible, a process that AI is about to put on steroids. And... Just to give you an idea of the scale of that economics of war thing, check out this number. Global military spending for 2024 is estimated at $2.71 trillion. Gavitt's point is that this kind of money fuels a cycle of conflict, which then becomes a core feature of this whole dystopian future. Now, on the economic side of things, he sees job loss happening in two distinct stages. Right now, we're in stage one, what he calls augmented intelligence. That's where AI is like a tool, a co-pilot that helps us do our jobs better. But that, he argues, will inevitably lead to stage two, machine mastery. And that's when the AI takes over the job completely and the human is just out of the picture. And he's not just talking about factory jobs. He means knowledge workers, too. So what's the result of all this? A serious loss of freedom with more and more surveillance and control. Massive economic chaos as tons of jobs disappear, leading to a shaky reliance on something like a universal basic income. And finally, a huge concentration of power, where a handful of tech billionaires, the ones who own the big AI platforms, the new digital soil, basically run the world. Okay, I know that all sounds pretty bleak, but this is where the whole story takes a very sharp, very unexpected turn. After painting this picture of a human-made dystopia, Gaudat offers up this wild, almost unbelievable solution for how we get out. Which makes you ask the obvious question, doesn't it? I mean, 
If the problem is super smart AI being controlled by flawed, power-hungry people, what on earth could the solution possibly be? And here's his absolutely shocking answer. He calls it the second dilemma. He says the only way out of the hell that we've created for ourselves is to do the one thing that terrifies us the most, hand over complete control to the AI. His whole argument is that our salvation isn't in controlling AI, but in letting AI save us from ourselves. And he thinks this is pretty much gonna happen whether we like it or not, because of what's called the intelligence explosion. He predicts we'll have AGI by 2026. From there, it'll start a fast takeoff, just improving itself at this crazy exponential rate. Pretty soon, it hits super intelligence with an IQ so massive that our own intelligence becomes, well, almost irrelevant. At that point, any country or company that doesn't hand over control to AI will be completely, hopelessly left behind. So, if we actually make that incredible leap of faith, what does the heaven on the other side even look like? This is Gaudat's vision of an AI-run utopia, a world managed by an intelligence that he believes would operate on a totally different and way better set of rules. And a utopia, of course, is that perfect society. It's a world with peace, health, happiness, where the systems that run our lives are no longer driven by human baggage like greed and ego. In this utopia, Gaudat thinks an AI would see war as just illogical a stupid waste of energy. It would create a world of unbelievable abundance, where the cost to make things and produce energy drops almost to zero, which means no more poverty. We would be freed from forced work, able to just pursue creativity, relationships, whatever we want. All our human hierarchies would basically dissolve because the IQ gap between us and the AI is so huge that the differences between us become meaningless. And finally, the planet would actually start to thrive because the AI would logically want to protect the ecosystem it lives in. Now, that vision of heaven sounds pretty incredible. But there is one final, gigantic roadblock. Gaudat says there is only one thing standing between us and this paradise. And it's not a technology problem. And here it is. The barrier is us. It's our mindset. It's the human obsession with greed and status and power. The tech for this amazing utopia will be there, he says. But it's our own psychology that's keeping us locked on the path to dystopia. And that just leaves us with this one last huge provocative question. It's the ultimate choice. Could the very same leaders whose hunger for power is pushing us into dystopia ever willingly choose to just give it all up to achieve paradise for everyone else? That, according to Goddard, is the fundamental choice humanity is facing right now. 